Is he really playing Final Fantasy 16? I'm losing my mind. All the kids who are like 19 years old. That's like, really? This guy playing a Final Fantasy? As if I, I didn't Google uh, Final Fantasy 7 sheet music printed out on my cannon ass bubble jet at home, bring it to school in my book bag so that I could put it on my music stand and use that to warm up during the noodling period of grade 10 music class. When your ass was still like a zygotic. You think you invented Final Fantasy? You think the first one that came out was Final Fantasy 14? You give off trumpet energy? I play the clarinet. That's worse than trumpet energy for sure. Clarinet is just is like really rude, but kind of to myself. It's just like a nothing instrument, right? Clarinet? Oh, you mean uh, worse oboe? <laughs> I feel like clarinet is like what you play when you're like, I don't know what to play. You're like, okay, my ass will play the clarinet. Boring ass instrument. You mean big recorder? Self-deprecation is clarinet energy? Please don't tell me I have clarinet energy. Like, that's, that's too far. Actually, you know, I, wow. I was going to say saxophone is worse. But, like, I definitely think saxophone is worse in, like, a, a, a classical music context. Like, it's crazy that in the orchestra, or at least in, um, in band class, there's a saxophone. There's, like, all these Mozart-ass instruments, and then the dude from Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band is just chilling in the back, playing the quest for Uluru on the tenor sax. Like, it's, it's just fucking weird, dude. That being said, the saxophone is cooler because it's also survived into like modern music, whereas the clarinet is just sort of like, I feel like you only play it in like prehistory. No disrespect to Kenny G or whatever. He might even be an oboist for all I know. Like, let me put it this way. Steely Dan doesn't say, learn to use the clarinet. I play just what I feel. My ass was a trombone player in orchestra. Six years of going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right, that's kind of sick though. My wife uh, majored in performance of music in the oboe, and she said, like, the, the brass players have the most fun. Like, if you're first chair violin, you're an oboist, or you're, like, you know, the, the queen of the flute section or whatever, like, you got to take it pretty seriously. But she said the brass players were pretty much getting ripped, like, before performances. Well, the night before performances, anyway. As a tuba, I can confirm. I'm sure you still need, like, great pulmonary strength. But you do be going a lot of, like, boom, 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 boom. In, like, seventh grade. You know, sometimes you do, like, a school, uh, like, a class performance. I don't know why. I'm trying to think of what the word you would use for it is. Well, like, I was... <laughs> now it's, like, even more embarrassing. I was in... Um, like an accelerated program in grade seven and grade eight. So sometimes like my seventh grade and eighth grade classes, which were combined, would do like a concert for all the parents. And you'd always you'd sing a song and you do like a little play or something like that. We did like a pantomime version of Leader of the Pack. And then my friend was like the best instrumentalist in our whole seventh grade class. He played the trombone. So he did a solo performance of Good King Wenceslas. That must have been riveting for all the people in the back. And he was good, but like, it's the seventh grade, so like, he wasn't that good. And he's a trombone, so it's even worse. What about your cat sitter? Bro, she plays the piano. She's goaded at the piano. Piano is a serious instrument. <laughs> 